Understanding Tuba Intonation, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone and welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a unique and interesting topic, tuba intonation. This might sound a bit technical at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also be able to use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Let's dive in. Before we understand tuba intonation, it's essential to know what a tuba is. A tuba is a large brass musical instrument with a deep, resonant sound. It's the largest in the brass family and plays an important role in orchestras and bands. Remember, the tuba is known for its size and deep sound. Now, let's talk about intonation. In music, intonation refers to the accuracy of the pitches produced by a musical instrument. Good intonation means the notes are in tune, sounding exactly as they should. In the context of language, intonation can also refer to the rise and fall of the voice when speaking. But here, we're focusing on its musical aspect. Combining the two, tuba intonation, refers to how accurately a tuba player produces the intended musical notes. It's about the tuba sounding in tune and harmonious. Good tuba intonation is crucial in orchestras and bands for a pleasing musical experience. Tuba intonation can be challenging due to the instrument's size and the technique required to play it. The player must have good breath control and an ear for precise pitches. It's a skill that requires practice and patience. Understanding the importance of tuba intonation in music helps us appreciate the skill of musicians. It's not just about playing loud or soft, but about playing the right note at the right pitch, which is essential for musical harmony. I hope this video has been informative and has helped demystify the phrase, tuba intonation. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, but also about understanding the cultural and contextual nuances. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using English like a pro. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.